Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you about four different solutions to keep the Divi menu module from overlapping on the two lines. So if you have a lot of items or some of your menu item titles are like a little long, you're gonna have an overlap. It's gonna to go to two lines when you're changing screen sizes and it's not gonna to look too good, especially like on laptops and things like that. So I'm gonna give you around four solutions of how to fix that. These are very easy. Some are code, some are just um, built into Divi, things like that. So I think you're going to find it useful. This is a common problem. If you take your website right now, just go look at your Divi website and it, it the good chance that it breaks the two lines and Here's the solution. So we've been doing some tutorials here on the Divi menu module. And a couple of them are kind of related. The first one we did was, you know, how to show a Divi hamburger menu on desktop and show it side by side a regular one and also show a desktop menu on mobile. And then the last video was on changing the mobile res menu responsive breakpoint. So where it changes from the mobile to the desktop and changing that and having control over that and how to find the correct pixel value for that. But in this one, it's going to be more on focusing on the overlap. So you can see in my little example photo here, the menu is overlapping. There's too many menu items. It's too wide um, of a, the, the menu text is too wide, like for each item. You know, it's just not enough room for the menu, so it's going to two lines. And, you, you know, there's a couple of things we can do. Um, actually, honestly, the first one, if that's happening, is to go check out my last video. Check out the one on change the Divi menu module response and breakpoint, because that's going to give you this little snippet that changes it. It makes it a little bit wider um, where it changes from the tablet menu to the desktop and that works really good so that's going to be our first one that's our probably our recommendation there but there are other things you can do the second one here i want to point out is to reduce the menu item spacing now with the new theme builder it does have some spacing built in um, with that menu module and it has like i think it's 11 pixels of padding on each side so on each side here of these items in my example there's 11 pixels of padding and that's on each side of home services about blog contact okay so you know depending on your menu you may want to adjust that and you may want to say well i don't want it to be quite that much and you know you could that in fact let's let's do that let's copy in this snippet and show you this example here so i'm going to copy that and just place it in to my page settings here, the advanced tab, custom CSS, um, and get rid of the stuff from my last tutorial, but I'm gonna paste that in. You can see it fixed it. See that? It actually made it on one line. Let me just do that again. Okay, so it's overlapping to two lines. You can see the amount of space that's there. And what we're doing here with this, we're saying, okay, I want it to be less space. So you can control these numbers. It's padding right and padding left. Just change those numbers. And you're gonna, it's gonna help a little bit. Now, another really cool thing you could do, depending if you wanted that to change on a certain screen size. Um, and I'm gonna add that. Oh, I did add that. Never mind. Um, right here it says reduce the Divi menu spacing at specific breakpoints. And that's a really clever little thing because you might want your menu to have like more spacing. Like maybe I don't like how this looks here. Because on like on desktop, I want it to have a certain look, right? I want it to be wide enough. Well, what you could do is like when it's getting a little smaller, like maybe like a laptop or, you know, a 13 inch laptop, something like that. You could be like, well, okay, I'm okay if it changes to a smaller spacing at that point. So let's paste this other snippet in. All right. So you're not going to see it right now unless I change my um, screen size. But what I'm, I'll just show you here. Um, we're putting in a media query and I actually put that at 1366 and you could certainly adjust that, you know, obviously adjust that to whatever you want that to be. But my point is we're, we're above that. We're above the 1366 right here on this screen. And so it's showing normal and I'm going to save this page and remember 1366, I'm going to save this and we're going to 
show you where it changes and the little bit of a difference that'll make and that'll really help to create some more real estate there for your menu items. All right, so here I'm on the page. So if you're not familiar with how to find that number, right click and find the inspect tool. It's gonna to be in any browser. So just find that and then we'll go up here and make sure that our mobile um, icon is turned on. And over here we see that we get some numbers and we'll see, you know, right now we're at 1150 pixels wide. So right now the spacing is going to be um, smaller, all right? But our screen is also smaller. So let's, let's make it, let's go out here a little bit wider. Remember we had it at like, what was it? 1366. All right, so let's just take a peek here. We're above that number. Let's just real, you know, take a close look at the amount of spacing that's there. And now I'm gonna take this down to below that and you tell me if you see the difference. All right, it changed. All right, in fact, I'll make it really obvious and we'll, we'll get specific here. Oops. All right, so right now I'm at 1365. Now watch what happens when I go above that. See, it gets a little wider and it's not much. Okay, it's not much. But what I'm saying is you could do that to increase some spacing around your, your menu so that you don't get this, you know, this overlap that's happening. Um, I mean, this is that one. Number two is only going to work um, if it's just a little bit. But that's better than you might say that's better than changing the breakpoint if you don't if you don't want it you don't want it to go to a mobile menu yet. All right. And then the third one here, we say it's kind of I guess <laughs> I guess it's kind of obvious, but just make more room for the menu module. Um, and there's a couple of things that may or may not be obvious, but let's go through them. So if we're here in our example and we, we notice we already we have this module in something that's a two third or yeah, third, third, third. Well, you know, depending on your layout, I mean, this is kind of an extreme example, but you know what I mean? Like if you had it in, if you had more items here and you had it in like this two thirds, well, just maybe try, you know, the three quarter one, you know, just try to make it a little wider and just make yourself more room. Um, and then what you could also do is go into your row settings to the design tab and go to sizing toggle and say, um, turn on, use custom gutter width. Here, it's just, all right, and then lower that number. So you'll notice that the space between the two columns got, got closer, and there it's none. So one is actually like zero. So you could lower that, all right? You could lower that to one, and it's gonna clear up some more room. And then the last thing is, is my kind of <laughs> uh, clever, kind of my proud tutorial, if you might say, how to resize columns, um, how to resize the column widths. And you can do that, like let's say um, you don't really like the default column structure that's coming here with Divi because your menu, you know, you want it to be like 85% and then have like a logo or something like that. So you can kind of see what I'm doing here, um, resizing the column to whatever size I want. And, um, yeah, where's my example at? Somewhere on this block here. So I kind of, you know, illustrated it with some colors, but it's 10% and then I wanted 65 for where this mo menu module is. I wanted that to be wider than, you know, default. So there's no layout like this by default, but all you have to do is go in there and add this one line of CSS, all right? So check that out, I have that linked, and that's kind of like, that's considered my, my, I guess my fourth solution to the overlapping menu. Um, if I've missed anything, let me know. But I think in general, you know, maybe number one, um, number two, and maybe even just the obvious will solve the problem. All right, so I hope one of those was helpful. Let me know which one of those worked for you. And I'd love to have feedback on what you want to see next related to the Divi menu module. Right now we're doing kind of an unofficial series on the menu module. So let me know what you want to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.